All new at 11, renewed hope for a proposed light rail line. The red line would connect uptown to Mooresville, but Charlotte needs Norfolk Southern's rail line to make this project happen. The company has not been on board, but as WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman reports for us, that might be changing. A proposal to build a light rail from uptown to Mooresville is coming back to life after stalling out in previous years. All in favor of this item, please raise your hand. City leaders voted Monday night to pay a contractor $5 million to update the red line design, which stops in Huntersville, Davidson and Cornelius. We had done work on the red line and then we got sort of stuck in discussions about whether or not we would be able to use it. And it's been a sticking point for us for all that time. And in the meantime, so much had changed that we did need to update the work that had been done previously. Plans for the red line use Norfolk Southern's train tracks that run north of the city, but the company wasn't on board with the plans. Now city leaders feel positive on a path forward. And we think we're in the most favorable position that we have ever been in in terms of being able to achieve an outcome about the red line. Norfolk Southern told WCNC Charlotte in 2021 it will not share its tracks. Now, a spokesperson says, quote, Though this line remains a strategic part of our network, we have always valued our relationship with Charlotte and the surrounding communities. Wherever we can, we will continue to work with them on projects that intersect with our network and the needs of our customers. When they complete the design, push for completion and reality. Sugar Creek resident TJ Ratliff is in favor of the red line and expanding the light rail. I'm here to remind you that people care about this. But even if Norfolk Southern jumps on board, its future still depends on a one cent hike to Charlotte's sales tax to become a reality. It's a uh, critical component of our entire mobility plan. I mean, if we can't get a new revenue source, we're constrained. Councilman Ed Driggs says the goal is to get the state legislature's approval for a referendum on the sales tax and allow voters to decide in the 2024 election. Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.